Hi, I'm Angelica Orlanda, a public health student in Brigham Young University, Idaho, and your host tonight. I'll now introduce to you our beautiful and generous speaker tonight, Miss um, Chelsea Trinidad, 23 years old. She is a registered pharmacist here in the Philippines and a passed the board exam last 2021. And now she's currently working as a community pharmacist. After passing the board exam, she became an advocacy and reached out to those people who have small access in medicine due to poverty and lack of awareness. Miss Chelsea, here is the question for you. So what are your thoughts about the misuse of medicine? Misused medications is very rampant here in the Philippines. Some people still use antibiotics for a simple fever and pain. Others put it on their wounds and some still use ibuprofen together with paracetamol. And this is where the importance of medication safety comes in. The medication safety standard aims to ensure the clinician safely prescribe, dispense, and administer appropriate medicines and monitor medicine use. It is also aims to ensure that consumers are informed about medicines and understand their own medicine needs and risks. Here are some tips for medication safety for caregivers and parents. First, if you are given a medication or prescription, make sure you, read, you can read it. Here in the Philippines, it is required for doctors to write the generic name in the prescription so that pharmacists, nurses, and patients can fully read and understand the prescribed medications. It is easier for us pharmacists to distinguish what kind of drug is prescribed if the generic name is written. Always ask for the prescriber's clarifications if the prescription is unreadable. You can consult the pharmacist for the written instructions given in the prescription. Pharmacists can also provide information on how you can take the medicines if it is a multiple medications and how to properly store the medications. Consider scheduling the consultation with the pharmacist or other healthcare providers to review the medications every six months. Include all the prescribed medications, over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, herbals, supplements that the patient is taking. It is important that the directions for use are followed for each medication. A prescribed medication will have directions for use on the label. Over-the-counter medications will provide specific direction for taking the medication based on the person's age. Over-the-counter medications are not always appropriate despite the fact that they are sold without prescription. The pharmacist can review the medications the person is currently taking and offer advice about whether an over-the-counter medication is appropriate and safe for use. It is a good idea to review all medication containers or packaging on a regular basis. Ensure that the person you care for takes the medication as prescribed. Advise them not to stop taking a medication partway through the course of treatment without first discussing it with their healthcare provider. Confirm that medications picked up from the pharmacy are correct. This means that the right name is on the packaging and the medication is what the person is used to taking. Medication should only be taken by the individual whom it is prescribed. Never take prescription medication that wasn't prescribed for you even if you have the same medical condition. If a person has multiple medications that need to be taken throughout the day, a schedule should be written out that is easy to understand and refer to. It is important for the patient to take its medication at the right time and write those for compliance. Medicines work when it is taken the right way. Thank you so much, Ms. Charles Trinidad, for those messages and advices and tips for our caregivers and parents. And also thank you for those listeners and our watchers.